Hi there, it's a great time of year to spread some comfort. Perhaps you registered for a Hobo Cat Hotel blanket kit. If so, thank you so much for helping us provide warmth to Calcasieu cats in need. The Hobo Cat Hotel is a wonderful organization that provides many services to our community. If you're watching this and you have not registered, no worries. This is an easy, family-friendly project and it can be done at home. Here are some of the materials that you will need. Most importantly, you'll need some heavy-duty fleece. I prefer a square cut. Also, instructions, which we go over step-by-step step in this tutorial. A ruler. And we also suggest masking or painter's tape. If you do not have this, that is okay. You can use pen or pencil and your markings will not be seen once you complete your project. Are you ready to get started? First you'll need to straighten your fabric and then you'll need to measure a three inch by three inch square off each corner of your fabric. Use your ruler and lightly mark the fleece with a marker or pen. You will not see these marks when you complete your blanket. Once you cut out your three inch square, you can use the square as a cutting guide for the rest of the corners. You can do this in place of measuring. But if you like to be exact, measuring is perfectly acceptable. We are now going to mark off the fringe. I use masking tape. If you do not have this or painter's tape, just use your ruler and a pen or marker. Just mark a line across the bottom. Repeat on each side. Now we can begin marking off one inch strips that will become our playful fringe. I'm marking one inch intervals for the full length of the masking tape. Again, if you are only using pen or marker, the marks are only to guide your cuts. They will not be visible after your blanket is completed. Continue the process for all four sides. the fun begin with cutting the one inch strips. Make long complete cuts with a good pair of scissors. This is a family friendly project. If you mess up your cuts, the cats and kittens will still adore them. This is the fun playful part of your craft. Peel off the masking tape when you finish your cuts and you can complete the process on all the other sides. It's time to begin the important business of knotting the fringe. Tie a knot with the two strips, then secure it doubly by tying a second knot right on top. It's important to make complete tight knots to stop the blanket from fraying. Here is a close-up provided by Miss Mary Catherine. Watch how she secures a flat knot and ties the two strips again. Her pro tip for a beautiful masterpiece is to tie the knots in the same direction. It just flows nicely. Go over, under, pull through, and repeat that. Tighten, and then we're going to repeat the whole process over again. Over, under, pull through, then over, under, pull through. You may notice as you move on to other sides that your blanket begins to take on a round shape. That's perfectly natural, and it makes it resemble a bed. Ta-da! Our fuzzy feline blankets are finished. Now just slip your creation into the brown bag your materials came in. Return your blanket to your local library by Wednesday, November 17th. The library will take care of the rest. Keep an eye on our Facebook page for footage of the final donation to the Hobo Cat Hotel. Witness your kindness in action as the cuddly cats find comfort in the warm, playful blankets lovingly crafted by human hands.